of our last session in lecture one, which is congruence 1.3. Before we go to cover our topics today, let's just have lecture recap. So last session, we introduced the modular class, modular explanation, when I have a number to power mod m, and the addition and multiplication of congruence classes, and we introduced something called Kale's table. So let's see those uh, problems and try to solve them based on whatever we learned in last lecture so here we have the question asked that if today is wednesday what the day will be in 17th day so we all knew that a week have seven days and they are starting from wednesday then we have Thursday, then Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, and finally Monday, not finally, here we have, and Tuesday. Okay, those are seven days. So we can give them the numbers and numbers starting from zero, one, two, five and six so here we want to know what the day will be after seven days day basically we just need to find the reminder when i divide 17 by 7 so i got the reminder as two so the days will be after 17 day is yeah Friday because two represent Friday all right okay let's check in second problem in here what is the reminder when 27 plus 98 plus 123 plus 97 plus 350 and 1 is divided by 5 and we knew that dividing by 5 means either I got 0 or 5 so I'm I need to to look for a number the nearest number to uh, the one I know, uh, 5 or 0. So the nearest number to 27 is 25. Therefore, the reminder here is t z 2. Then the nearest number to 98 is 95. And I got the reminder 3. 123, the nearest number is 120. So I got the reminder as 3. 97. The nearest number is 95, so the reminder is 2. And 351, the nearest number is 350, so the reminder 1. So all of these reminder mod 5 is equals to 2 times, so 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 3, 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So we got them as 11 mod 5, and this is congruence to 1 mod 5 so the reminder is 1 after dividing the whole number by 5 okay one more question in here uh, here we have what is the reminder when 6 times 7 to power 32 plus 17 times 9 to power 45 and to get the confusion here this is equivalent to 6 times 7 to power 32 plus 17 times 9 to power 45. It is the same. However, the dot here does not present the fraction point. So, we need to do one by one. First, let's find the first number when divided by 5, what is the reminder, and then the second, the third, and the fourth. So, 6 mod 5, when I divided 6 by 5, I can get 1 as a reminder. Then we have 7 to power 32. So, in order to find this huge number, I need to find, uh, to simplify it to some a smaller one that give me a reminder zero or one or maximum two but i'm looking for zero or one so we start one by one seven one mod five gives us a reminder as two seven square 
mod 5 equals to 42. Yeah? 7 times 7 equals to, sorry, 49. So 49 mod 5 is 4. I'm not looking for this number. So we'll go for the next 7 to power 3 mod 5 equals to 343. Okay, 343 mod 5 equals to 3. Still not the uh, 1. So 7 to power 4 mod 5 equals to 241 mod 5. And we got here the reminder as 1. So all what I need to do is convert 7 to power 32 to 4. So I will get that 7 to power 32 is equivalent to 7 to power 4 or 2 power 8. And here we got the reminder as 1. Then we continue with 17 mod 5. And this is equals to 2. And finally... 9 to power 45 and this is also a huge number so I need to simplify it so we'll start with 9 to power 1 mod 5 and this is equals to 4 which is not the, the one I'm looking for and then we have 9 square mod 5 equals to 81 mod 5 so the reminder is 1 and I can stop here here I'm facing a problem because in case I want to convert 9 to power 45 to something with 9 square, I won't get the number because 45 divided by 2 will give me 22.5, which is not possible to be a power. So what can I do? Um, I can use the other uh, factors of multiplying the same base with different power, which is x to power a times x to power b. I can get that x equals to a plus b. So first, let's just divide this number to two numbers that can be divided by 2. So here we have 9 to power 45 is equal to 9 times 9 to power 44 and this is equals to 9 to power times 9 to power 2 all multiply by 22 so i got here the good number now let's solve the problem here we got that 6 sorry 6 times 7 to power 32 plus 17 times 9 to power 45 mod 5. So here we took each one and the, past, the reminder went divided by 1. So here we knew that when 6 divided by 5, I got 1 times 7 to power 32 converted to 7 to power 4 all power 8 times 17 when divided by 5 I got a reminder as 9 and 9 to power 45 were distributed to 9 times 9 to power 44 mod 5 now we got here that all of these is equivalent to 1 times 1 to power 8 plus 2 times when 9 divided by 5 I got the reminder as 4 and 9 to power 44 is equal to 9 squared to power 22 mod 5 so here we got that 1 times 1 to power 1 is 1 plus 
2 times 4 is 8 times 1 to power 22 mod 5. So this is equivalent to 1 plus 8 mod 5. And here we got that 9 mod 5 is equal to 4. So here the reminder is hope this is clear lecture we will introduce the linear congruence and how we can solve the linear congruence we will introduce inverses using euclidean algorithm and chinese a reminder so here linear congruence is when i have an unknown in a linear uh, in a congruence relationship so ax is congruent to be mod m in order to find the solution of x there is one condition has to be met so to, f to know that if there is a solution or not i need to find the gcd between a and m and this gcd can divide b otherwise the congruence has not does not have a solution let's check an example here here we have 4x is congruent to 1 mod 9. So to find the value of x, I need to find GCD 4 and 9. So the greatest common divisor between 4 and 9 is 1. And 1 can divide 1. Then x is exists. Okay, how we can find? We just know that x is a value in the following set. x can be 0 or 1 or 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. So x can be one of these. How we can know? We just need to take each time one of these multiply by 4 and it should give me the reminder as 1 so 4 times 0 equals 0 and 0 mod 9 equals 0 so this value is not right then we take 4 times 1 equals 4 4 mod 9 is again 4 and it does not equal to 1 then we go for the next 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 mod 9 is 8, which is wrong. Then we go to 4 times 3 equals 12. 12 mod 9 is 3, which is not the right answer again. Then 4 times 4 is 16. 16 mod 9 is equal to if i divided 16 by 9 then i'm getting the reminder as 7 which is not the right answer again 4 times 5 equals to 20 and 20 mod 9 equals to 2 and again not the right answer now we continue here we have 4 times 6 equals to 24 and 24 times, uh, sorry, divided by 9, we got the reminder as 6. So 24 mod 9 is 6. Again, not the right answer. 4 times 7 is 28 and 28 mod 9 is 1 and yes here is the right answer so x equals to 7 what is more x also has another solution which is all the numbers under class 7 can represent 
the value x. So, which means also x equals 2, 7 or 16 or 25. And here we have minus 2, minus 11. So those values can be a value of x. Now from here, I can tell you that we don't need to try all the values of the possible values of x. We can just calculate it in our mind. So for example, we can delete all the numbers when I divide it by a that give me a number less than m. So it can be deleted. We can start straight forward from 3. Let's check another question in here. So we got that 18x is congruent to 5 uh, mod 7. So in, before we start the question, solving the question, we need just to find GCD. And we said that GCD between whom and whom? 18 and 7. So the greatest common divisor between 18 and 7 is 1. Then x exists. Because 1 divide 5. Okay? Therefore, x can be one of the following set, which is either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And if we try 1 by 1, multiply by 18, find, trying to find the uh, mod 5, then we will get that x equals to 3, because 18 times 3 equals 2. 54 and 54 mod 7 when I divided 54 by 7 I get the reminder as 5 so x the value is x is 3 only value in here no is also all the values of class 3 in modular class 7 so they are, here we have 3, 10, 17, 24, and from the side we have minus 4, minus 11, and minus 18, and so on. Okay? How this makes the uh, finding the linear congruence easy. Here, you can solve this question by yourself. First, you need to find the GCD and then try to find the X. Now, let's introduce something related to linear congruence, which is inverses. And inverse of any number, if I used in the same equation, I should get a 1, like what we have in here. So the inverse of number a is 1 divided by a because when I multiply a by 1 divided by a, I get the result as 1. Same as here. Inverse for the following can be exist if we if a gcd a m equal 1, then x has an inverse and the inverse is equal to a x to the congruence to 1 mod m. Otherwise, if the uh, GCD is not 1, then the inverse does not exist. Let's check the question here. Now, we need to find GCD 2 and 7. So, the greatest common divisor between 2 and 7 is 1 because 2 and 7 are prime numbers. Therefore, it does exist. How we can find it? We can see that 2x is congruent to 1 mod 7 so we need to find the value of x and we do as we did in finding in the linear congruence so x might be either 
zero or one or two three four five or six so if i tried each value to multiply by two and trying to find the inverse I'm trying to find the uh, product as the reminder as one i will get that x equals four because two times four equals eight and eight mod seven equals one so two inverse equals to four okay one more example we need to find the inverse three and seven so first find gcd three and seven and we got that the gcd is one because three and seven are a prime number so here we knew that three x should congruence to one mod seven so to find we know that x has a result of one of the following values either zero one two three four five or six so if i try one by one i will get that x is equals to five because three times five is 15 and 15 mod 7 equals to 14 sorry 15 mod 7 equals to 1 therefore 3 inverse mod 7 is 5 and you can solve this question by yourself the following those two questions all right of a powerful method used to find the inverse for a larger numbers so in case we have a and b as an integer then the inverse of a and b can be found by successive division of the two integers so in case we have a mod b then first thing we do is we trying to find how many b is on a with a reminder then trying to find how many reminders in b with a reminder and so on so how we do so here we have 14 mod 17 so first of all i need to find how many 14s on 17 so 17 equals to 1 times 14 plus 3 now let's find how many 3 on 14 so 14 equals to 4 times 3 plus 2 then we need to find how many 2s on 3 so we got that 3 is with 1 2 plus 1 those converted to taking the reminder on a side and the other uh, elements and equation on other side so we knew that 3 is equals to 17 minus 1 times 14 and we call this as a equation then we have 2 is equals to 14 minus 4 times 3 and we call this as b equation and finally 1 is equals to 3 minus 1 times 2 and we call this as c equation now what we will do is we will just take each time an equation and substitute on other equation okay so here we have 1 is equals to 3 minus 1 times the value of 2 is equal to 14 minus 4 times 3 just take the 1 inside minus 1 inside so we got that 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 times 14 plus 4 times 3 and we got the plus because minus and minus give us a positive which is plus 
then we have here four three and here we have one three so we can combine those together and we will got that five three minus one fourteen and we did this from c right now we will continue from here and substitute the value of sorry from b here the value of 3 from a from a we can get that 1 is equals to 5 times 17 minus 1 times 14 minus 1 times 14 all right let's continue here now we take 5 inside, so we got that 1 equals to 5 times 17 minus 5 times 14 minus 1 times 14. So here, how many 14s? 5 14 and 1 14. So we got that 5 times 17 minus 6 times 14. Now these... We want to find mod 17 how much we got so because we have here 17 whatever the number will be here is a multiple of 17 so the reminder will be 0 yeah minus 6 times 14 mod 17 okay now we have that 1 equals to minus 6 14 mod 17 we want the 14 in the other side so we just divide by 14 and we got here that 14 minus 1 is equals to minus 6 mod <clears throat> 17 now the inverse is equals to 11 mod 17 and how we found this since the value here is a minus then we just need to add to 17 and then we got 11 in case the value is positive then it will be the inverse itself it might be confu it might be confusion however you just try to solve the following question by yourself all right using euclidean algorithm now the last topic in our session is the chinese reminder theorem and chinese reminder theorem is when i have a system of congruence then i need to find the solution of k chinese reminder is when i have a system of uh, congruence and i need to find the value of x so how to do so first of all we need to find the big X and big M and big M is equal to 1 times M2 times M3 and so on okay so M is equals to 7 times 9 times 5 and this is equals to 315 now we'll take the uh, capital M and each time we try to find the value of x so here we got that mx divided by 7 is congruent to 1 mod 7 and this is equals to 315 x divided by 7 is congruent to 1 mod seven so 315 divided by 7 is equal to 45x and 45x congruence to 1 mod 7 so just to make this easier let's simplify and finding when I divided 45 by 7 then I'm getting a reminder as 3 so here we got that 3x is congruent to 1 mod 
7 and from here we got that x is equals to 5 because 3 times 5 equals to 15 and 15 mod 7 gives us 1 as a reminder we will do the same for the next which is m x by 9 is congruent to 1 mod 9 and this is equals to 315 x divided by 9 congruent to 1 mod 9 and here we got that dividing 315 by 9 gives us 53x and 53x congruence to 1 mod 9 we got that it's equal to 8x is congruence to 1 mod 9 and then we got that x is equal to 8 Continuing to the last one, which is mx divided by 5, congruence to 1 mod 5. And this is equals to 63. x is congruence to 1 mod 5. And this is equals to 63 divided by 5 gives us a reminder as 3 x is congruent to 1 mod 5 and from here we got that x is equals to 2 now what we do in order to find x naught we just need to take first of all the value here which is 3 multiply by the value we got after dividing m by uh, mod which is 45 and the value of x which is 5 adding to the second system so here we have 5 times 35 times 8 and finally is 4 times 63 times 2 and all of these we should find after uh, dividing reminder after dividing by 315 so we got here the result as 2579 mod 315 and this is x not as congruence to 59 mod 315 and again how we got 59 you can recall these steps we used to find the reminder or you can do it by calculation in your head all right and this is basically about the chinese reminder theorem now you can do this by yourself try to solve the system of congruence by using the chinese reminder theorem and here we reach the end of lecture one where we first introduced the congruence definition then we have a look on modular class, explanation, modular explanation, addition and multiplication of congruence classes, and finally what we learned today about linear congruence, inverses, and Chinese reminder theorem. Thank you guys for the good hearing, and we'll see you inshallah in next lecture.